I'm a Christian. I don't know if y'all realize this. I don't, uh, I don't curse. I don't drink or smoke. Yeah. Around people that go to my church. And, uh, <laughs> I went to church for the, in person for the first time a couple weeks ago. It was really dope. I was so excited because I miss, I miss church. I go to a black church. I don't have, have y'all, have y'all, flip flops, have you been to a black church? <laughs> you been to a black church before? Nope. 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 Then flip, flip right, <laughs> flip right past them, huh? All right. <laughs> no, but I, I encourage you to go, like just visit one time. Like a black church is the most exciting thing you could do all week. It's amazing, it's an amazing time. If y'all know how to find a black church, it's very easy. So all I gotta do is look for the church with the longest title. <laughs> <laughs> like the longer the title, the blacker the church. <laughs> Are you walking to a black church? Or He's like, I'd like to welcome you to the good news, hope for salvation center to the road that St. Paul took to Jericho by the riverside of the 23rd Street Cornerstone Episcopal AME Mount Zion Cathedral <laughs> Baptist Temple. You're like, all oh, this is here? <laughs> Y'all even got work and air conditioning. How's all this in one place? <laughs> you know, this is too much. Man. But black people do the most. Like, even black preachers, they got the longest titles, right? Oh, they got all kinds of degrees. Like, me, myself, I am the Reverend, Doctor, Bishop, Cardinal, Deacon, Missionary, Assistant Janitor, CJ Hemsworth, the third and the fifteenth. Like, how are you 18 people? <laughs> It's too much. <laughs> like Jesus only had one, it wasn't Mr. Jesus. <laughs> he didn't go to college, like why? Are you doing all of this, man? But black, black preachers, black churches, we're, black people, we're creative people, man. That's what I love about black church. That's why you should go. Because what they'll do, there's a, there's a lot going on in the world. So much of so what black preachers do, they'll take anything, go current events, and they'll remix it into the sermon so it can relate to your life a little bit better. Right, they take anything. They could be talking about, I see y'all falling off a crate. <laughs> but you need to stand on the word of God. <laughs> and you won't fall again. <laughs> like black preachers are, are the best, man. They'll take anything. I, I, when I went to church, the pastor, he, he, was, he was going in. He was like, I want to tell you a story today about a young woman named Megan. Some of y'all may know her as Meg. Others may refer to her as Meg the Stallion. <laughs> and let me tell you, she has these young women galloping to a whole new beat. <laughs> in fact, I heard a young woman today talk about she wanted to live a hot girl summer. <laughs> That's why I said a hot girl summer. But let me tell you one thing, church. Don't let your hot girl summer lead you to a hot hell eternity. Amen. <laughs> I'm coming here every Sunday. <laughs> Black churches are the best, man. Black churches are the best.